Winds uprooted massive trees like you see here. Wow. Good evening. I'm Craig DeGrelly. Jenny is off tonight. We went back tonight to get a closer look at the damage and magnitude of the cleanup as severe weather heads toward the viewing area yet again. Reporter Nick Starling is live in Columbus tonight. Nick. Craig, I'm outside the house that had some damage. Just take a look at this. Not just one, but two trees on this property in our front yard. Because of those high winds blew down, the concrete is uprooted. People are working on the roof right now. For a lot of people, this recovery process will take quite some time. The recovering process starts a day after storms rip through the area. This was a pretty nasty storm. Columbus Mayor Mike Moser says 52 fire calls and over 250 police calls were made during the storm. That would probably be about 10 times what we normally have in a day. Also getting calls, insurance agents assessing the damage. Extremely busy, the phone ringing all day. Most of the calls involves damage caused by trees. Shingles off, trees falling, um, trees on houses, trees on cars. We're at an area in Columbus where this neighborhood got hit pretty hard. You can see the down tree behind me. And over here, it's neighbor helping neighbor trying to clean up after the storm. It looks like at least we're all getting well together. The neighbors are getting giving us a hand and whatnot. So and we're giving them a hand too. So it's all working out pretty well. Miguel Bermo Sanchez is cleaning up this tree that fell down along with many others. Luckily, it didn't land on the house, but that can't be said for the Gum family. These two trees fell down on their front yard, one of them punching a hole into the attic. Oh, no shade. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, we like to sit outside. No shade. Probably going to have to be in the house now looking out the window. Now, the Gum family you just heard there say they're going to meet with their insurance agent tomorrow. They're just too busy to do it today. And the landfill, if you have any of those trees, they are accepting those free uh, tree and limb over there for the next 10 days. Again, the good thing with this high power storm, no injuries. Reporting live in Columbus tonight, Nick Starling, KMTV Action 3 News.